Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a system that will enhance your stats using a variable that you can uh, award points into however you like to. Like, uh, when the character levels up, you can award variable points, or uh, as loot drops, you can create an item that will give uh, add to that variable, and then you can spend those variable points uh, on stat allocation points. Let me show you what it'll look like and then I'll show you how to make it. So here we are, um, we're level five, we've got 867 HP, and this little green thing right here is gonna be our uh, upgrade sphere. We could put this wherever we want, um, but we're out of bonus stat points to allocate, so let's give ourselves some stat points real quick. Put 10 stat points in this chest, and all I did was create a chest, and. Uh, did a control variables in there and I'll show you that in a minute now that we've got 10 points um, it'll ask us if we want to spend those points we could say yes and this is a little JavaScript tip right here because we're gonna go over a little bit of JavaScript but you don't have to use JavaScript I'm gonna show you two different ways where the first way is all JavaScript is uh, using JavaScript and the second way is just using all of inting so you don't have to do any JavaScript but if you'd like to incorporate it you can so we've got some uh, options on the right hand side um, we're using Hemiworks, uh, actually I'm using Yanflies and Hemiworks' uh, show choices, large choices thing. Um, you could use either plugin you want, or you can just not use either and select more if you want to do a clunkier version of it. But anyway, we've got 10 points now, and we can even actually add a variable number right there, and I'll add that too. So let's say uh, 50 HP. Alright, so now you can see that we've, we've gained 50 HP. Let's look at our status really quickly. Let's see our parameters. We've got 88 strength. Let's see if we add one to our strength, what'll happen? If it works right. Or our attack power. So we should have 89 on our attack power now. So our strength is at 89. There we go. Do one more real quick, just to show you. Let's go with the wisdom, which would be our magic attack power, 23. There we go, we're at 24. So really, really simple system. Let me show you uh, what it looks like. So in this treasure chest, uh, like I said earlier, all I did was did a control variable and awarded 10 points and did an animation and a flash screen and show text. So we don't really need that. Um, at the beginning of this event, um, what you're gonna do is give it whatever image you like. Um, in this case, I've gone with that green uh, flashy or like uh, aura type thing. I've disabled walking, I've made it direction fix, I've made it below character so you step actually into the circle. The trigger would be action button and the, the how, uh, how it becomes animated is you check the stepping. So if you do stepping, it'll cycle through all of its animations and it'll look like it's animating. To start off, we need to check if the player has any points to uh, allocate. So we're going to, do, going to do a conditional branch. All you need is one variable for each actor. In this case, I've set it up for one actor, but you can uh, create a variable and create a similar. Just copy paste the system and just change the one uh, variable that is checking to the next variable for each uh, actor. So what we're going to do is insert a conditional branch. That's uh, tab uh, tab one, and that's going to see that's going to check a variable. In this case, I'm using variable 79, and I've named it bonus stat points. It doesn't really matter what you name it, but just uh, remember the number. And we're going to say is greater than zero and then we're going to select create an else branch. Uh, once you've done that, we're going to show text asking the player if they would like to spend their upgrade points to enhance their stats. Uh, then we're going to show another choice. If they say yes, we can ask them, um, uh, select, we can tell them to select the parameter they want to increase. And uh, in this little text box right, box right here, what you could even do is forward slash V, and then we'll put 79 right here and we'll say uh, remaining points. That way it'll show how many points you actually have left. And this it's zero by default, but when we activate the chest, it'll say 10. And uh, underneath that, we're gonna show choices. Inside the show choices, we're gonna say max HP, max MP, attack power, defense, magic attack, magic defense. Um, the default, the first one, if you have more than six, you're gonna cancel on branch. And over here, 
um, you're gonna cancel on three or or whenever you go to none you know uh, default for the second show choices will be none because you're using the first one if you're not using Yanfly's uh, message plugin or um, I think it's extended message pack one or he may works with large choices then uh, you can figure out how to do that it's basically you just go next and then disallow <clears throat> So inside of each of the the choices, when the player selects uh, max HP, we're going to show an animation if you want to, sound effect, flash screen, it's all up to you. Um, here I put a script call, and we're using the add parameters uh, script call. So we're going to do dollar sign game, capital A on actors, dot actor, and then this number is the number of the actor in the database, Drift what is the first actor in, in the database. Then we're going to put a dot, add capital P on param, for parameter. And then we're going to put a zero right here for uh, max HP. And you can see in this text box right here, I've uh, showed you, I'm showing you which ones, uh, what numbers uh, respond to what stat. So zero would be max HP, one is max MP, two is attack, three is defense, four is magic attack, five is magic defense, six is agility, and seven is luck. That would actually crash. So MDF, seven is luck. So right here, max HP is zero, and then we're going to put a comma, and then this is the number of uh, units or numbers you want to add to that. If you want to subtract, you can do that too by adding a negative. So you can always do two uh, add parameters, one that adds to HP but takes from MP, or you know you can customize it to your liking. Don't forget your end line. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, after that, we need to uh, do a control variable to remove one of the uh, the bonus stat points from the variable. So you just control variables, do the subtraction operation, and do a constant of one, or however many points you want to take away for that bonus. Uh, the other way to do this without the script call, it's really simple. You go to new, you go to change parameters under tab one actor, you select the actor that you want, max HP increase by 50 so you can completely event this and then just get rid of that script call if you don't want to do any JavaScript but it's cool to have options and to know how to do both so the same thing would apply for max MP the only thing we're changing right here is the 0 to a 1 so now it's uh, not it's no longer max HP we're affecting max MP and we're instead of giving 50 we're only giving 10 MP we're still taking one uh, stat point Attack is number two, so we're we got zero, one, and two is attack. So we're taking uh, one stat point away, and we're awarding one strength. And it's going to do the same thing for defense, magic attack, magic defense, all of that. We can even disallow cancel uh, if we want to. But I, I figured when we cancel, maybe the player doesn't want to upgrade. So I've left it as a branch so the player can hit escape and get out of the menu. We'll leave that blank. Make sure you don't remove uh, anything right here because then they'll end up just wasting their points and it'll frustrate them. So right here, we've got the same thing for uh, agility. We're just increasing this number right here. And if you wanted to change this for, the like say, actor 2, you would just change that to actor 2. You can kind of copy paste this entire thing and rename all of this to twos and then it'll work for the next actor then and so forth and so on uh, for none you don't uh, include anything when they say no you don't include anything when the else handler hits for the first uh, conditional statement that's checking if they have any bonus stat points you can let the player know that hey you're out of bonus stat points or you can leave it blank it's up to you and that's basically it and uh, you can award these points in many different ways like you can make an item <clears throat> let's just find a spot here you can make a bonus stat card and give this a little quick use this to gain bonus stat points consumable occasion I guess always scope one ally and we'll have it call on a common event on other let's find a blank one let's go to 36 okay we'll hit apply go to common events go down to 36 
bonus stat points. So whenever this is called, all it's going to do is control variable and add to that bonus stat points. We'll say it adds five. So let's go back to our items and say use this to gain five bonus stat points. Give it whatever price you want. You can give it an animation if you like to. And then award that item. Let's actually do that. We'll go ahead and get rid of this and get rid of this. And we'll change items this time. Bonus stat card. We'll get one of those. I guess we don't need to show text. But I do it anyway. <laughs> okay, so we'll go up here. We don't have any bonus stat points if we activate the chest. We got our bonus stat card. But we still don't have any bonus stat points because we took the control variables away. But let's use our item. We didn't give it an animation, but that's okay. Now if we try to activate this... Uh, it asks us if we would like to spend our points and we say yes and it tells us we have five points remaining because we just got our card we can add one to our luck we didn't check beforehand but I'm I'm sure it works but anyway that's gonna do it for this episode and this uh, tutorial on how to make like an alternative way to add stats I mean I, I'm using job points to enhance stats like a lot of uh, other people are too uh, thanks to Yanfly for that system but you could always do your own version of stat upgrades without having to use job points if you don't want to use job points. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Sorry for the few days of lack of videos. You know, I'm still fighting this cold. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. But uh, thank you guys for all your support. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial.